In this video, I am going to demonstrate to you how we can create a company using Tally ERP9. Let us move to the video. Open Tally. You can see a window like this. If you can't see this menu, that is company info menu, that means a company is already open in your Tally software. So you need to close that company by clicking the shut company button here. After closing the menu, automatically Tally will move to company info menu. So here is the company creation menu. We can see different menu items under company info menu. The first one is select company. Second one is login as remote user third one is create company backup restore quit so we want this menu that is create company menu so select that company by press enter key or click using your mouse this is the company creation window in tally erp9 this window is used to create a company in tally the prime process that we need to complete before operating in tally so let's move to the items that we need to create a company one by one the first one is the directory you can see the directory here the tally will automatically generate the location where the information of the company need to save so directory is the location where the company information is going to save tally automatically assign a location if you want to change the location you can do this by double clicking in this item location you can change this so leave as it is next is the name that demanding the name of the company that you are going to create so type a name that you want to create here i am giving a name of the company as my company limited so this name is considered as the official name of the company and this name will display in all the reports in tally the next is the mailing name and automatically tally display the same name that we have already given as official name of the company so mailing name means this name is used in the mails that you are sent to your clients here you can see a mail button by clicking that button you can send any report to your clients so in that mail this name will be specified if you want to change you can change the name next is address of the company no need of any explanation here i am give a address a dummy address now press enter key automatically it is move to next information that we need to enter that is a country so which country you the your company resides so in the most right hand side you can see name of different countries you can select here i am going to select india as my country so so the next is the state here again you can see different states in the states in the country you can select the state where your company reside here i am going to select karnataka next is the pin code pin code of your pin code of your company next is the contact details that is the phone number first your company phone number next is the mobile number of the company okay if your company have with a fax number you can give it here so this contact information and address information tally pick from here for put it in all the reports generated by tally so the information you are given here is used to print it in the reports of tally next is the email address given email address so this email address is very important because this email address is considered as the from email used in the email system that you are using to send the report to your clients 
so this email is used as the main email address that you are introduced to your clients so give them mail address here next is website if your company have a website you can give that website here like this www.something.com like this if it is not no need to give it here because this is not mandatory next we move to the books and financial year details two things you need to give it here which is very important the first one is financial year begins from so in india financial year begins from april 1st to march 31st so 14 2020 means the financial year begins from 14 2020 and it ends on 31st march 2021 so give the financial year here i am going to give you 1 4 2019 that's the financial year so next is book beginning from the books beginning from means from which date your company starts recording the transactions that is the books beginning from here the financial year is automatically displayed as the book beginning from here we are given 1 4 as the financial year beginning that's automatically tally copied to 1 4 so you can give the exact date your company starts recording the transactions so instead of that you can give the same date as the financial year beginning from so this date can be before the financial year that should be within the financial year so that should keep it in mind the book beginning from should be after the financial year or equal to financial year that should be within the financial year books operation starts within the financial year that we have already given here So next is the Tally Vault password. Tally Vault is a security system developed by Tally and using this system Tally encrypt your data and increase the security of the data that you are going to enter in Tally. So here the Tally demanding a password because if you open the company again Tally demand this password that that password is used to open the Tally or decode or decrypt the data that you are saved in tally so very important thing is that if you forget the password you can't recover the data you keep it in mind you should keep this password otherwise you can't recover the data so this is a security provided by tally by encrypting the data so you use the password for opening the tally further so you don't forget the password you can't open the tally so this is a security system this is an encryption system used for securely keeping the data inside your computer here i am not giving any tally vault password next is the user control system or use security control here tally erp9 has a range of security controls which can define the authority of various users to access the information that you are going to enter in tally that means who can enter data who can alter data or who can delete data like this so if you want to create a user for handling your account and you can assign a role for that user you can give a user here if you want to create a user control you can give yes automatically it's demanding the name of administrator password etc so if you can create or you can avoid this here i am not giving any user control system i don't want to create any uh, user for my uh, account so this is the main information that we have already completed the next is the base currency information you can see in the bottom of the window here also we need to enter some additional information regarding the currency the first is the base currency symbol is automatically tally put the indian currency symbol here no need to change next is the formal name of the indian currency automatically tally put the name inr indian rupee no need to change it next is the suffix symbol to amount this means you can put the symbol before or after the amount normally in india the symbol should put before the amount so the question is that suffix symbol to amount you can see suffix symbol to amount so if you want to put the symbol suffix means after prefix means before so if you want put the symbol after you can set it to yes now the symbol should put after the amount if you want to put the symbol before the amount you can give it as no so here i'm leave it as no because i want to put the symbol before the amount 
next is add space between amount and symbol if you want a space between the symbol and amount you need to set it yes if you don't want any space between the amount and symbol you need to set it no here i am set it to yes because i want a space between amount and the symbol next is store amount in millions here the amount should be in normal format if you want to display the amount in millions in the reports and tally in pnl account balance sheet and all reports and tally you can set it to yes automatically tally will display the amount in millions here i am set it to no because i don't want to display amount in millions next is decimal places number of decimal places normally it is two that is your currency should possess two decimal number if you want to increase it you can set it to three or four like this here i am put it as two that means in reports you can see two decimal places in amount next is word representing amount after decimal that means what these two decimal represents in indian currency these two decimal places representing paise you can see it automatically tally place that explanation of that decimal place that is paise so that is the word representing amount after decimal that is paise next is number of decimal places of amount in words in standard invoices you can see the amount in words also so you can print the paise in words if you want to print the paise in words you can give it as two automatically these two decimal places print in words in invoices you can give it as three because we have already given the decimal place two here so you don't give any figure greater than two so you can give it minimum two or you can give it one so automatically the paise should print in words in invoices so these are the base currency information so after completing this you press enter automatically tally asked to save it you can give it yes or you can give it no if i give it to yes tally automatically create a company or here i am going to create a company by pressing yes or y so here i am giving y the tally automatically create a company now we move to another window here you can see a company that we have created no voucher entered you can see it here here a different menu you can see instead of company info menu you can see a gate of tally some buttons are enabled in the top row you can see here the button toolbar some buttons are enabled now now we have already created a company and company is saved inside your uh, computer so this is a procedure of creating company next video we will discuss about another operations on company so i hope you enjoy this video see you on next video thank you